Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nine seven you in class again today. How have you been? On today's video, we are going to look at um, raster statistics. You know, um, we know that um, raster data set consists of um, grids of cells or pixels, right? Good, where each of the cell contains a value representing maybe a specific attribute or measurement. So by the time you look at this particular raster data we have, it's actually um, for a digital elevation model and then we can see the elevation range right good from 317 to let's say um, 575 right good. Now, what um, raster um, statistics is, is that um, it refers to the quantitative information we derive from analyzing the values of what a raster data set. So, you know, with the statistics, we can be able to know the minimum, the maximum, the mean, median mode, standard deviation range, or maybe whatever the case is, we are trying to what we are trying to get from this uh, raster data set. Now we also have um, a vector data here because we don't want to just um, look at the whole um, raster data completely. We are trying to look at it from the perspective of what this vector data set, which means we are trying to clip it. Or we are trying to say that okay the information that will be presented the result of the statistics should be based on what we are this vector data set covers right good so um having understood that let's now dive into where we are going to have what the tool the tool we are going to use let's come down to the um, processing toolbox and then it's actually what um zonal statistics so let's have um, zonal good so it's under raster analysis, we have them um, zonal statistics. Now let's look at the description here. This algorithm calculates statistics of a raster layer for each feature of an overlapping polygon vector layer, right? Good. So that's why we have this overlapping um, polygon, right? Good. So the input is actually what the, the vector layer, which we've told you about, right? Good. Then the raster layer is what the digital elevation model or any other layer you have with you. Then let's um, say um, output column prefix. Let's just say SS or whatever the case is. Now the statistics to calculate, there are more statistics here. When you click on this um, three dots, to just select the more you want. So it's um, calculating the count, the sum, the mean. Let's say we need the median, the standard deviation, the minimum, maximum, the range. Let's say we are trying to select all, but not all. We don't need minority and majority. Let's say we just need these, um, let's say six or maybe eight of them, right? Good. So, okay. Good. So, these are the eight options that we've selected. And then it's now trying to, or it now output what the statistics of these to us. Good. Before we proceed, let's um, look at the application of these um, statistics. Um, while we are using idem as our input. You know, idem is a raster data set that represents the elevation of the earth's surface as a grid of cells or what pixels, right? It provides information about the topography of an area. Now, when we are using what um, the raster statistics and then we are applying it to them, we can use it to get the minimum and maximum elevation, right? Good. So that's, um, let's come down to statistics to calculate. We have what the minimum, let's say, yeah, but that's why I have to pick the minimum and maximum. So with this, we can know based on what the overlapping uh, vector layer, the minimum and maximum, or if we want to use the whole of the raster, which we are not using, we can determine the slope, to represent the steepness, and calculate it by determining the rate of change in elevation between neighboring pixels. We can determine aspects, we can determine the local relief, profile statistics, and so many more. So, you know, the application of what this um, zonal statistics you can also use it in what in a um, in land cover classification, right? Good. You can use it in, in land cover classification when you've actually trained your data, maybe you extract your feature, then you you now start the classification and you know so the application depends on what you want to achieve. However, with um, this introduction you can use it for those other applications. So we've imputed what the raster layer, we also have what our input vector layer. Then we also selected the statistics we want to calculate and we don't want to save it on our drive. Let's just leave it as what a temporary layer. Or should we save? Okay, let's save. So you click on that, save the file.
good so we are working on a folder called um, raster statistics so let's call this um, the statistics itself so this should be TITS right good so and it's actually what um, the default is a um, shape file you can decide to select any other file you need but let's um, leave it at the default SHP then we click on save and we can run good so we have what the algorithm finished running let's now um, open the attribute table of the statistics good so the id the pg now the count now what does the count represent the count represents the count of the number of pixels the sum is actually the sum of the pixel values then the mean is what the mean of the pixel values the median is what the median of the pixel values the standard deviation standard deviation of the pixel values now the minimum is actually what the minimum of what the pixel values then the maximum is what the maximum of the what of the pixel value now based on let's say our application or trying to tune it to our application let's now look at this uh, minimum and maximum um, values because we are looking at them let's see let's look at the minimum and maximum elevation so we can know where there are valleys or where there are mountains and maybe how the change of elevation is within that terrain right good so maybe in form of to analyze that terrain from the digital elevation model right good so since we've known the minimum and the maximum let's now look at the range of values we have here now based on the range of values we have been able to what extract what this uh, minimum and maximum value from what from the statistics right good so um we believe we've actually provided solution to this um, particular surveying maybe jazz or yeah surveying or jazz problem and then we've shown you how to use what the zonal statistics to actually um calculate some statistics of what your raster data set and then we've also shown you as many statistics as you can actually calculate we are going to see you on our next video um ensure keep staying safe and please if you've not subscribed to the channel you can encourage us by subscribing and we are going to see you soon bye